Yin squaring off against Chimera. Roar is in the background with the purple buff. Looks like she's looking for the perfect opportunity, but Yin might die in the meantime. There's the perfect opportunity she was looking for. Christ. Casting replay submitted by viewers like you. This is Casting Call. What's up, everybody? I am Mongoose. You are awesome, and this is Casting Call, the series where I cast replays submitted by viewers like you. Want to submit your own replay for casting? Find out how in the video description below. Today's submission comes to us from the real gamer, also known as the indie gamer, also known as first to comment on a majority of my content. Thought about doing this, releasing this video at like 3 a.m. just to be a dick and not let him be the first to comment on his own episode, but I'm not that mean. Uh, today's going to be a Wu Kong special double feature with two Wukong games for cast and call. Let's take a look at the teams here. Blue team, we have FaZe, Wukong, Kalari, Chimera, and Bellica. Red team, we have Wukong, Aurora, FaZe, Horagesh, and Yin. So without further ado, let's get into the action. We've got FaZe hanging out with Kalari in the offlane. Not the weirdest fucking thing we've ever seen on the series. Kalari! Trying to take down FaZe. FaZe is getting very low. Kalari has to back away from the tower. But the blue team FaZe takes out the red team FaZe. First blood, hot FaZe on FaZe action. Blue team Wukong trying to hold it down. as a melee carry without a support in the safe lane. Not going to go too well for him here. He is going to escape for now. Aurora is still pushing up very far, far, further than offlaner should be able to at this point in time. She's chasing him down, gets the kill. There's the frozen similar crumb, and she walks away just fine. Aurora once again pushed up here in this offlane. With oh, uh oh, here comes the cryosism. Man, without any support, this Wu Kong is just kind of fucked. He also kind of fucked himself by jumping into that ice. He could have uh. <laughs> Aurora says, I've got movement abilities too. Look at this shit. Chimera trying to take down Morgash. She has barely any mana. She's very low. Oh, Wukong pushes him under the tower. Now Chimera's in trouble. Gets taken down by Morgash. Morgash has to look out because there is a Kalari on the battlefield somewhere. What is she doing? Oh, okay, she's just throwing down a ward. She was just throwing down a ward. It's fine. Now she's going to go ahead and back. Good idea on her part. Wukong's still working on the lane. Uh-oh, here comes that. There's Kalari. Oh, no. She's going to get taken down. Oh, but Kalari takes the magic stick right in the kissa. And Wukong is able to take down Kalari. Two teams squaring off here. Neither one really wants to overcommit to this fight. Blue team has their tower to fight underneath. Looks like they're going to get pushed back. Maybe not. Belka overstepped her bounds a little bit as well as Wu Kong. He almost lost his life right there. Belka trying to fight back with the Void Bomb. Oh shit! Cryosism comes out of the fucking blue. Chimera gets knocked into the corner and taken down. Now the blue team are all extremely low. Wu Kong jumping in behind them, as well as Yin picking people off. A nice Horfrost, and that's just just out of the blue. That's four members of the blue team down. Yin squaring off against Chimera. Roars in the background with the purple buff. Looks like she's looking for the perfect opportunity, but Yin might die in the meantime. There's the perfect opportunity she was looking for. Cryosism and the Horfrost. But Chimera comes in, or Kalari comes in from behind, takes out Yin. However, it's still going to be a favorable trade for the red team. Wukong going after Or Prime. Throws down a ward. Very smart of him, making sure that the enemy don't see him. Taking objectives like this is like Wukong's bread and butter. He takes them so fucking fast because of the 82,000 hairs, whatever his ultimate is called. Uh, Raptors or Prime Towers, whatever, it doesn't matter. Wukong is perfect for that shit. He's like, uh, he's like the, the rat of Paragon. Takes it down with ease. Red team with the or Prime buff. However, Yin is in a bit of trouble over here. Getting surrounded by the blue team, 
She's going to get taken down, but sets up a huge criticism from Aurora. She has been on point this whole match. And that Horfrost, they are all going down. Belka's the only one left, but she's not going to stay up for long. Very nicely done. Looks like they could just push in for the core and get the win right now. However, everybody seems to be going back, except for Wukong. Like, why the fuck would you go back right now? Just win the fucking game, right? Wukong pushing up with the minions. The only defense is the blue team's Wukong. And he's a bit underfed due to having zero support in the early game. And red team Wukong was on the jungle, so he has plenty of CXP. And just like I was saying earlier with the uh, with Wukong taking objectives quickly, he actually killed that Wukong pretty fucking quickly too. But yeah, he's going to melt this core with his mirror images, I guess you would call them. Whatever the fuck you want to say. And the final fuck you as he jumps into the death wall. Very nicely done by the real gamer. Before we get into the final sections of the video, the real gamer, enjoy your killtage. In-game analysis, uh, I think I already pretty much summed it up. The uh, the blue team's Wukong just could not get any CXP because FaZe was fucking off in the offlane for some whatever reason. I mean, she got first blood, but, you know, who gives a shit about first blood? They lost the game. So your word of the day is Paragon Hipster? I think I actually fall into this category. It's the person that always picks the off-brand heroes in an attempt to play them before they are cool. The Paragon Hipster. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button, share it with your friends. If you want to submit your own replay for casting, email them to mongoosegg at gmail.com or tweet them at mongoosegg or just leave them in the comments below. But make sure you leave your gamer tag, a brief description of the game, what hero you played, and I think that's it. I think that's all I need, yeah, right? No, oh, whatever. But anyway, uh, priority goes to patrons first then people that haven't been cast yet, and then resubmissions. So if you want to become a patron, patron link is Patreon link is in the description below, as well as my Discord link, so you can come and hang out. But for now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.